<laughs> okay. Um, well, you know, there are a lot of um, um, new technologies, and I think people kind of think that we need all kinds of new rules for the new technologies. We've been studying learning in virtual reality, for example, for the last dec uh, last two decades, I guess. Um, and I would say the same basic principles that apply to learning from text or learning from um, just a basic presentation, uh, a lot of the same principles apply to learning with a, a medium like virtual reality. There are some differences, of course, but um, I think it's not the medium that's really causing learning. It's the instructional method that causes learning. So the same instructional methods that are effective um, with other media, I think, are also effective with new media like virtual reality. Mm, what else? Uh, another one is realism. Some people think the more realistic things look, the, the better it is. Um, so if we're going to have graphics, they should be as realistic as possible. Maybe virtual reality would be good because that feeling of immersion would make it feel more real. Um, but the research seems to show that, you know, too much realism can actually be distracting. Um, sometimes just a line drawing can be more helpful than a really photorealistic graphic of what we're talking about. Kind of depends on the instructional goal, of course. And the same thing applies to learning in virtual reality. Some of our research shows that people learn better from a PowerPoint presentation than um, immersive experience because the immersive experience is so overwhelming, people lose, lose track of the main point of the, the lesson.